Welcome to Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex. What do we This do? is Whitmire's, which is down in Houston, and this is a yeah. gift from patron Saint Chad Upchurch. Chad Upchurch, your patron saint of whiskey. Oh, that was loud. All right. I wonder what if about, that, so one of the times when I do this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan's gonna finally tell me whether it actually shows up on audio. I feel like it would. I am familiar with the name Whitmire's. How often have I had their actual Not very. whiskey? We've okay. done some of their stuff that was actually Texan, and I think we did one of the things that is sourced. Okay. This is a mix of those. A blend of sourced yeah, yeah. and stuff they so made. So this is okay. bourbon they made mixed with bourbon from Kentucky, mm -hmm. mixed with rye from MGP. What are they doing, like a, like a Barton or something? Bourbon and rye. Okay. It's literally a mix of bourbon and rye huh. from them, Kentucky, and Indiana. Okay. Who do you think out of Kentucky they source from? I have no idea. I don't know that I could smell it in this. Yeah, once you get into a blend, it's going to be pretty hard to... Yeah. Unless there's a dominant, dominant whiskey in that blend. Can be hard to pick out. This okay. is a strange nose. It... I'm trying to figure out... Here's... I'm going to say... Yes, at the same time, it doesn't feel like it's something other than whiskey. It's unique in the presentation, but the blend came together in a way that is emphasizing something in here. Yeah. That isn't often emphasized in a whiskey nose. I have our comparison. I keep getting a... Uh, so, the most common familiar flavor I'm getting on the nose is going to be that cherry note. But I'm also getting uh, cut grass. Okay. And it makes me feel like I'm getting that really herbal, cut green grass um, MGP rye. Mm -hmm. But there's a sweetness drawing out from the middle of it that I think the bourbon's adding. And so instead of going full dry herbal and uh, black licorice, it's going super green herbal with a dense sweet note in the middle See, of I'm it. I'm not getting a lot of green cut grass. I am finding a nice oaky vanilla thread just a core that's going right throughout the middle of this thing and I think the unique note was chestnuts I do not have a recall of chestnuts at all my it is, I'm so far removed from chestnuts at this point it's been years I may be misremembering it but for whatever reason I thought of like roasting like chestnuts do you want to know a weird brain thing on memories what's that the more you remember something the less accurate it is mm. did you know that the most true to its original moment mm -hmm. is something that happened that you can remember clearly, but you try not to, and you only recall it periodically. Oh, Because yeah, yeah. your brain, every time you carve a memory, it carves like a river. Think of it like a creek bed, right? Uh -huh. And every time you remember it, you send signals down that creek bed. Yeah. And every time you send a signal, it changes the shape, like a river pushing banks out. Mm -hmm. Right? So like over time, a river goes from being a stream to like an S curve yeah. and so the more you throw electrical right. pulses down a path the more you alter the path in certain ways until years later so. your brain has taken certain pieces of what happened right. lost other pieces mm -hmm. and you are actually very far off factually from what really happened along those lines I know it's a huge issue when it comes to court proceedings Mm -hmm. Yeah, no I, eyewitness testimony. Eyewitness testimony. Very fallible. Know, like the, the studies that have been done over years of you know our court system. Uh, yeah. Terrible. Can be, people think like, oh, eyewitness, they were there. That's Who the better highest than reliability. Them? No, no, no. no oh, cameras. No. Yeah. Cameras are the highest reliability. Eyewitness testimony is very often uh, inaccurate. Um, it, which is unfortunate because a lot of people get locked up based on eyewitness testimony. Well, and that's the weird thing about like remembering a slight. Because yeah. if you relive it over and over and over, right. you change it more and more and more. They become more and more and more the thing that made you mad, mm -hmm. and less and less and less what actually happened. Right. Okay, it's interesting thing about this nose. I'm having to hunt. I'm having to dig kind of deep to get in here. But if I go a little bit more aggressive than I typically do in a whiskey, and I just kind of live here, don't recover before the next breath, Every time I do that, it pulls back a little bit more of that curtain, and I find this really nice sweet cream in the middle of this thing. Yeah, I'm still getting, by pulling away and coming back to it, it's still dominating me with the green note. Oh, and then I eventually just get burned out and I hit ethanol. Okay. 
Oh, hey, it's all in the palate. All of that sweetness is in the palate. This oh, is well, there's the cherry. Really Dark. sweet bourbon dominant palate. Like a tart black cherry. Yeah, it wow. it's mostly bourbon. I yeah. mean, I could see that there's a. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even say there was rye in this. I would say this is a high rye bourbon, if I had to pick. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the nose is weird. You've had black cherries. Yeah. Yeah, and they're not they're not incredibly sweet. Mm -hmm. Often they can be tart unless they're like super, super ripe, but they're usually pretty tart. Yeah. Yeah. This is a bourbon palette, mm -hmm. high rye bourbon palette, mm -hmm. with a really weird cut grass botanical nose yeah. added on to the top of a classic bourbon mm -hmm. nose. A little bit of that brown sugar. Kind of a dry finish for me. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What was the proof you said on this? This was, oh, it's a damn respectable 110.4 proof. It's 55.2 ABV. Here's what we're going to compare it to. Barai, a Ooh. blend of bourbon and rye from High West. Barai. Which is a great name. Mm -hmm. I still like their bottles. Yeah. Got the speckled stuff in there. So what did they say they put in this? It's been so long that I've forgotten. Mm. Holy crap. All of the whiskeys in this are a minimum of 10 years old. Wow. And sourced from multiple distilleries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Wow, Jesus. That's cool. I mean, maybe we shouldn't be throwing this into a comparison. <laughs> it's getting low. Uh, oh, hey. So I was going to, before I get to the Bure, one last thing on the Whitmire. Hmm. The thing that is the most familiar amongst the whiskeys that you named that are going in here. Uh, Indiana, mm -hmm. it's MGP, then Kentucky, and then there's a rye. I get most of that MGP character on the taste. Not finding those familiar, recognizable. Well, MGP. remember the taste is bourbon. I, I know, and that's not MGP bourbon. It's not MGP bourbon. It's MGP rye. What the hell are you talking about? The bourbon about? is I Kentucky taste, and Texas. This on the taste, I'm yeah. finding that same kind of that. Um, it's that barrel note. It's how it meets the cherry. That's what I associate with the MGP bourbon. Yeah, but and you're saying the that, MGP bourbon is not in here. No. Oh wow. But remember that the uh, Texas heat's gonna jump up a lot of those barrel impacts, mm. right? So whatever the Texas bourbon was in here, it could be mimicking some of those things that happened in MGP bourbon in Texas. Mm -hmm. But smell the uh, the High West, same family. It's actually pretty, like definitely in the same category. I find more sweetness. I find more, more botanical. More, uh, I find more like a vanilla sweetness. I find more botanical than Woodmire. More vanilla sweetness and caramel. Oh, and uh, on the beret. there is a cherry Jolly Rancher on on the High West. Oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah, definitely sweeter. Yeah, for me. Oh woo, that's that's really great. It's this rich hard candy mm -hmm. with a little bit of like peppery spice. Can I tell you right now, very soft and pretty. I'm gonna tell you right now. Hmm. This drinks like it's a lower proof because it is. Yeah, and. I sweet. Kinda, I kind of like, and these aren't the same, right? Mm. But this at a forty-six percent mm -hmm. ABV I, is more enjoyable than this at like a fifty-five. I think is what it was. Yeah, fifty-five yeah. two percent. I agree. ABV. No, I, I benefited from proof. probably like eight more years of aging. But yeah, that's true. That's true. But, but this one is still sort of pushing against itself, mm -hmm. right? Like when I taste it and nose it. It's, it hasn't resolved into a shape. It's still sort of throwing elbows mm -hmm. in various directions. Like the rye and the bourbon are not, have not totally made friends yet. Slightly herbal yeah. honey on this one. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have the Tim Carter. I've enjoyed the whole let's try something different optically experiments, but something's always seemed off to me. And I just figured out what it is. Where's the subscribe sign? Yeah, it got moved over here when we were sitting down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it never got moved back. Wait, yeah. look, can you see this? Uh, seeing the bad girls, I guess subconsciously, I missed it. Yep, uh, upside down, good. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah, it's gotta be upside down. Yep, that's good. All right. That's how people know yeah. to subscribe. That's right. Because we if we were doing this the right way, then within the first 15 seconds of every video, it'll like, fall Before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah, well, we did that upstairs. My favorite was the video where right in the middle of that, it fell down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a duct tape. I'd be, I'd be curious to see the subscribes on that video. Yeah. If people took that as like a sign of, you know, it's fate. Like, yeah, yeah, I have to subscribe. To subscribe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice. But 
I don't think it's a fair comparison at 10 years old. No, I, I agree. I'm Brian. You got beat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you have one more comment. I think you should shut your whore mouth. Jesus. What? That got aggressive real fast. <laughs> uh, no, it's this thing in the studio. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Belfry. Dude. Belfry. Dude, early days, man. Yeah. Early like, days. These, like microscopic channel. Look, there's Jimmy Leg. Yeah. There's a fucking, uh, what's his name, who was the whole reason we started getting donated bottles. Yeah. He was the first one to donate. He, he said, if you can name this statue in Austin, I'll send you a bottle. Right. And I can't believe his name is escaping me right now. I feel terrible about that. <laughs> um, but he, he was the whole thing. And then Belfry was early days, giving a shit at first. And it's still giving a shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't say I like Belfry. Yeah. <laughs> I just said I recognize the name. No, I'm kidding. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah. That's so hard to believe you guys have been doing this for what feels like half a decade now. I know, right? Yeah, I still haven't run out of whiskey to try. Yeah, the first was like 2016. We are, yeah, we're yeah. six years in, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, uh, <laughs> we are. Yeah, the whole, I don't think we were ever going to get to a point where we, we had to stop the donations. Yeah, Just yeah, to give yeah. some breathing room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but, but how long of a wait are we now at the current pace with the donations? We should be done with donations by next spring. 2023, okay. spring or summer. All right, all right. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then at that point, we just decide, what do we do next? Mm. I keep, you know what? It's not fair. It's not fair. It's really not. You do keep going back to the high I west, keep though. Reaching, I reach Yeah. Else. It's not fair. This, there's a lot of things that are nice about it. I would probably try to slightly lower proof because, mm -hmm. yeah, I think I think maybe the ABV is hiding some of the flavors at that much. Yeah. But anyways, you know what I think? I think we are here for something. <laughs> Whiskey? No. Oh. I think it. I think it's pretty obvious. Okay. That we are here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. <laughs> oh God, that's a dad joke. <laughs> no, fight me a fight for a friend. If you steal, I'll make you steal your liver. And if you drink, may, may you drink with us. Drink with us.